Alright guys, welcome to level 14. This level is called the Atlantis, and once we get in here immediately there's going to be a hatch to the land that we have to fight. Go ahead and meet my magnums. He's going to shoot thorns at me or whatever this is. Basically blue. What I'm going to do now is hit the Uzi clips, because we will need these in this level. Definitely, this level. This level, we need something huge. You guys can look at the eggs. Some of them, just the ones that have moving arms, will hatch when you get near them. Frozen one. Like this one. If I step on the next tile, bam, he's gonna hatch. These, some are. Some are. Like that one, that one, but this one with the moving arms go. So he's shooting the phones. It was relatively easy compared to some of the others. I can look at these doors. There's some Z clips right here. This one, it is not gonna. The one, the door that's over this way should open. But so. I'm gonna come to this door, it's gonna open the way for me. It's gonna be a staircase. I get up to the top of the staircase, some of the other Atlantean eggs are gonna hatch. So, what I'm gonna do now is use a small mini pack, and then I'm gonna equip my. I got a shit ton. So, I'm gonna come out this way. Actually, I'm gonna. Get the small med pack first. I believe that the first egg doesn't hatch until you come out halfway across the room. I'm gonna come over here, pick up the shotgun shells. I think that right there is what's gonna hatch the eggs. Yep, there it is. see what's next over here. You can see the... But there is a door. If we look this way, there is a switch here that we need to pull. That's gonna open up this door, which leads us to another switch. It didn't show me what that switch did, but I have a Sure enough, another Atlantean is. Dropped me down. Oh wow, he made his way downstairs fast. This explosion just goes everywhere. I can climb back up the stairs. So that opened up the door down here. When I come out, this egg is gonna hatch as soon as I step near it. Bam! And took care of him. So we're gonna get a good long list of kills. We're gonna go through this door and we're gonna come into the main big open room where we need to scale our way up the platform. There is a flying Atlantean in this room. It shows up right there. he is. And I prefer to kill him before he gets to me. get to that ledge there, but before we'll do that, back up, press action, 
drop to this ledge for secret. Got a large med pack, magnum clips, and it's a pretty sweet deal. Take this way to get. Because look, this is the ledge I was trying to get to from there. But here's the clamp clamp door. Okay, I'm gonna save. So I come into this room. There is another egg. It's gonna have to grab that ledge. But before I do that, I want to get that door open so I would and grab this loose ledge in the hole that we can grab onto, we can crawl through this, or run through this. crawlability until three. But you come around here, there's a switch that you'll pull, it's going to open up the door we want. Come up here, there's going to be some boot clips that we want to grab. And jump to this next ledge. You want to position yourself right. Like, this is a maximum length jump, so Laura has to jump at the very edge, do a full-on forward jump, press action. If she jumps too soon, she won't make it. So, spawn. You gotta be careful, because he can knock you off the edge. If you try to use the Uzis and flip around, it's likely you're gonna end up going off the edge. You gotta be careful. So now we're in a new room. There's an underwater area here. It's actually a good thing that I fell in the water because there's an underwater lever over here that we need to pull. It's gonna open up a door that we need. Because like if we didn't pull this lever, we wouldn't have access to it. So then we can come up this way. There's going to be some ledges here, like when I jump to this ledge, there's going to be a boulder that spawns. I'm just going to jump there to avoid it. Now, I can jump to this ledge here, that's going to trigger a So I'm going to jump to avoid it. Here. And then we're going to jump on this slide, there's going to be a tile down here. So we can go in there. Just here that we can up there is a switch back here that we it's gonna open up a door but actually before I do that I want to go back here where I was before because there's another secret in this room I'll show you guys how to get it what you want to do is way back this way go to where the large head pack is for this This way, there is going to be a switch that I pull. This is going to spoo the end of that room. It's going to bump up a platform that we need. Seconds. Now I'm going to here. There. Here, here. Oh yeah, and we 
hear them. This. We got our second secret. We spooked lava and we want to be real careful. So we can back up and then lava will incinerate Lord, so you better. So from here, we can do a running jump and a save when I. So I'm back in this web tunnel. I'm gonna come over here. I do not fall on that. But I'm gonna jump this way. And go into the water. Some shotgun shells and there's the lever behind me. come out here, there's Uzi clamps, there's a clamp clamp door that we want to avoid. And we also want to act quick because there is an Atlantean that we spawned the second we stepped on this tile. So I'm going to jump to this ledge, go ahead and pick up my Uzi's and attack him. Grab the... oops. And it's a good thing I pressed action or else I would have fallen into the lava. So we're going to go into a new pool of water. In this room, there's going to be a set of switches we have to pull. Some are good, some are bad. This one in the middle, I believe, is one of the ones I want to pull. It opens one of the doors, but it also causes an egg to hatch the second you get over here. Oh, come on, Mark. And these guys can move quickly, so like I come over here, he's gonna be there right away. Right, and I'm gonna use a small med pack. If we wanna pull this one, we wanna pull the one over here. Maybe all that one does is the neck. Yep, see, this one's gonna break open when I jump to this next tile. Need to do that. Alright, let's come. Alright, let's try this one. Yeah, that was definitely a bad switch. So, now that one's gonna spawn when I get over here. So, now let's come up. About this switch. Yes! Now we've got our tunnel to go through. How we get there is we go up this way. Oh. Got the Uzi clips. I guess how I can get them is I can come here, out again. Go this way, which basically leads to a dead end. 
or we can go this way, which is going to lead us to a room. We have to pull the switch first, but it's going to open a door to a room where there's going to be a boulder. It comes immediately. See, it's basically going to block off the path I need. It is possible to get your way through that boulder, but I'm going to go... So basically, I get through there. It's the boulder's gonna reset when. But what we want to do is move this move block that's down. We want to block off the boulder. Or the next time we spawn, the block will stop it. This block back. this other then what I'm gonna do is come back out this way or no we have to go the other way so we're basically gonna go around in a circle we're gonna go out this way the way that door opens for you automatically when you're leaving but the boulder will reset the block will not if I can the switch up. It opens it, the boulder's gonna come down, but the block will stop it. So then I can enter this new room. Big area. There is another Atlantean you have to fight. Super. So you can look in this room, there's a bunch of different edges. Uh, Directly down below us is where we started in this room. So basically, we're just scaling higher and higher. You gotta be careful in these rooms. There are some tricks and tricks. Like, there's an egg that just hatched. Save the game. Alright, so there's another egg here. It's gonna have to get closer to it. I think it might have. Well, there he goes. down here. That one is a standard file. This one is too. So below me it were spikes. Some of the tiles were sliding tiles to where if I, I would have to quickly do a backflip previous slide and then sort of flip back and forth until I could eventually make my way to a standing tile or else I would have been difficult. So we can see there's an active egg. It's gonna hatch if I get piles up. I can do it this way. There's one that's already spawned. Get the Uzis. save. So I can see there is an edge over that kind of out. I think from here I could jump to this, but that's going to immediately spawn that egg. Just to get more. Next 
what I was actually worried about was that he'd bump me off the ledge and I'd fall into the lava. I wasn't as worried myself. That's where you move them. Switch should open that door. this way. We're back in the open. Look, there's probably another, uh, and there is another Atlantean, so we have to take care of him ASAP. Go ahead and back myself up because I don't want him pushing me off the edge. Blam, his kablam got me a little bit. Let's look down. Ooh, wow, we've made it a long way. I can start it. So, new room. So I think if I step to the... I run across here. So I think you would want to do a running jump for this one. You might be able to get there with us. I would run be on the safe side. You see, what they did was put a tile down there because if I jump, I would bump the wall. It would push me back, so... I mean, you could do a standing jump and leap. You positioned yourself just right, but you would make things harder for yourself. Switch. And then that's going to reform the room. 
we can see now tiles slightly different places. I can back up and then do a running jump this tile. And I can jump the store with Now I'm gonna save because this room things do get difficult. And I'm gonna pull out my Uzis. There are gonna be some at least. Probably gonna chase me down here. The one left. Alright, there we go. Now, this is where we get our third secret, and there is a door. It might be open, it might be shut, but it is timed. And if it is shut, what you would need to do is go back, and there would be a tile. So, it was open for me, but if it is shut for you, that meant that you did not make it fast enough. So what you would need to do in that case is run back to that last room with lava and those blocks that were rotated by a switch. And then at some point on your journey from room to this room, there is a tile that automatically just opens the door for you and you have to make another So I'm going to go ahead and... All right, we're gonna do all this all over again. So we're gonna come this way. Door open. When we pull this switch that's up ahead, we're gonna spoo that lava. That's the ledge that you lava will not hurt. Lord, she's on the aisle for that. Get hurt. So there's no Atlantean this time when you. Big room. This room. Great. And then over here we're we'll be in Atlantean this room. So your best way to fight this guy is to just sort of flip back and forth. So you can get the Uzi clips. Um now there is a dart trap in here which you want to be real careful of. See I got hurt just a little bit. And, I, and I'm gonna go ahead and charge mid. I step on the next tile, I'm gonna spawn a trap. Now there's like a throne here. So, we'll block to the box because they're not active. Go ahead and do. Let's look around this other side, and I can see. You see this ledge up here? It's too high to get to, so I have to come back. And I'll show you guys two different switches. There's two switches. You think they'd open the door next to you, but they don't. They open trap doors. So I'm gonna do go through either trap door, but I like this one because I feel the fall is less. And you less relatively easy to do that backflip, but if you were not prepared, you'd be impaled. I'm gonna save my game because I just did something pretty dang. Okay, so we're gonna come through this way. Switch when you get to the top of this. We're gonna pull the switch. That's going to open up the door that we actually want. Trap doors. This way. So, see there's three in. You're in you don't see the third there. They're all dormant right now, but as soon as I run, this one is not going to be. You should break when I step on the next tile. Thank <laughs> you. 
And he shoots the fireballs pretty quickly, so you have to be prepared. Alright, so when I pull the switch, they're both gonna hatch. See, that one's dormant, but. Let's see. If I come up here, one of them will become active. What I can do is jump and, and, and try to activate that one before. Because I'd rather activate him before I activate the other one, because if you have to fight two at once, it's be very ugly. take a large med pack and basically if you shoot see basically if you shoot yourself you lose health me. There are some ledges up here that I see my oh yeah it opens up lava but what I want is to kill that thing without killing me see I shoot it well it, we're not in close enough range but if I shoot it see I slightly I use a, lose a little bit of my health so what I want to do is push that thing in the lava hole so and we're running this way see clone or whatever you can clone is now there. This way. She's near the hole. Oh wait, yeah. It's time. Oh, I'm getting it now. Yeah, I see. Okay. So when the lava pit opens, it's timed, and you want to push your clone down into the. All right, sorry, clone. doing that, that opened up another door. So, we're then gonna back up. No. This way. We're 
we're now pretty much at the top. There's another enemy. Alright, so I'm gonna pull this, or actually I'm gonna pull the Uzi clips first. So that switch did something, something good. Looks like it put that bridge in, it, but that one put the bridge into play. But then there's this other one which I think is supposed to open the door. There is here that I somehow. Alright guys, so there's two switches, they're both timed. This one over here is going to open the door, and the other one does the bridge. Now what's behind the door, that's a return path. It's not actually, like... It doesn't really... There's no items, no secrets, or anything. It's just a return path. Not really anything. So that switches the one of the door. The other one is kind of put to the drawbridge. We better run because the the timing it's, it's not terribly tight, but it's not it's not very generous either. Come on, Laura, we don't have all day. I might still be able to make it, but if you bump into the wall too many times. You're gonna have to just re challenge. Let's see, we can this drawbridge. I think we need. So, 